Hello everyone, welcome to PEP Coding. So in this video, we are going to discuss the question that is even odd tree. So what is the even odd tree? A binary tree is named as even out if it meets the following conditions. So what are those conditions? The root of the binary tree is at level index 0. So the root will be at level index 0. So and its children are at level index 1 and its children of root are at level index 1 and their children are at level index 2 and their children are at level index 3. So like this level order goes on. So now second point is for every even indexed level. So what are even indexed level? These are even indexed level. So at every even indexed level all nodes at the level have odd integer values means at even indexed level all the nodes means node, nodes present at that even level have odd integer values means these values are integer values okay and that too in a strictly increasing order from left to right and that also must be in a strictly increasing order is strictly what does is strictly increasing means means if first node is 3 then the other then the next node from left to right must be greater than 3 suppose if this is 3 and this is also 3 then this doesn't follow the strictly increasing order means this value this next value must be greater than 3 so this is what strictly increasing means and that too must be in left to right order. So for this particular tree, the values present at even level are odd values, odd integers and that too are in strictly increasing order. Okay. So this tree is fulfilling this condition. Now talking about next, next, next point. Okay. So for odd index level means these odd indexed level all the nodes at the level have integer value. So these nodes must be must have even integer value. So these nodes must be even integers. Okay. And that too must be in strictly de decreasing order. And these even values at odd level odd level must have even values and even level must have odd values and that for odd index value for odd index level the nodes must have integer even integer values okay and that Two must be in decreasing order. So that must be in decreasing order. Okay. Decreasing order. And this should be in strictly increasing order. So this particular binary tree is fulfilling all these conditions. So this will be a even odd tree. So let's take another example. Suppose this is a tree this is this is 5 ok and this is 4 this is 2 and next level is having 3 3 7 if we will check this condition these are the level we will check for this whether this tree is an even or true tree or not. So level is even for even level for even level all the nodes must have odd integers. So is it having odd integers? Yes, it is having odd integers and must be in a strictly increasing order. So this is in a strictly increasing order. This is correct. Is this in a strictly increasing order? So this is not an strictly increasing. Why? This is increasing but not strictly increasing. Why? Because this node is not greater than this node. This is equal. So this is not following the strictly increasing order. So this tree, this whole tree 
will return false so it will conclude that this tree is not a even or tree let's take another example suppose this is a tree 5 9 1 3 5 and 7 so this is level 0 1 2 so for 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 even or for even level for even level the values must be odd so this is following this thing for even index level nodes must be odd even integer value so this is following this and that too must be in increasing order so is this in increasing order yes is this in strictly increasing order yes now we'll check second point for odd index level for odd index level the values must be even integer so is this an even integer no this is not an even integer so this whole tree is not a even odd this is also not an even odd okay so this thing we have discussed now we'll discuss about the its approach to solve this question so what we'll do i hope till now you have understood the question now we'll discuss the approach for its solution so let us write some points that even level must have odd integers okay and odd level must have even integers is strictly increasing and that to in strictly decreasing okay so now what we'll do is we'll we'll firstly figure out the height of the binary tree using the height we can identify the number of levels present in our tree suppose this has uh, the height of this binary tree see we'll be writing all the points so for this binary tree firstly what we'll do we'll find the height height of binary tree for this particular binary tree, the height will be 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, this height will be 4. So, now what we will do? See, the first thing is we have to check the level. If the level is even, we will simply check the values. If the values are for even level, if the values are odd, then it is satisfying a condition. For odd level, if the values are even, then it is satisfying the condition. So, we will check this thing in pre-order. In pre-order, we will check this thing. Calling its left child and right child line by line. We will put the condition for checking the level. And then we will put a more condition inside if condition. And we will check whether this value of root is even or odd. For even, it must be odd. We'll check for the false condition and we will con we'll find our answer whether this is correct or not. But the case will be more tricky when we will when we have to check whether at this particular level all the values are in increasing or not. And at this particular level we have to check all the values are in strictly decreasing order or not. So for this what we'll do we'll create an array. Here we'll name that array as predata, and this will be of size height, right? So this will be at zero index, at one index, at two index, and three index. So initially, at zero le level means at even level, we have to find the increasing order. We have to find the increasing order. So, what we'll do, we'll compare the value with minus infinity. That is minimum value because we have to find the increasing order. And at odd levels, we have to find the strictly 
decreasing order. At odd levels, we have to find the strictly decreasing order. So we will initialize the odd levels with infinity. And what we'll do? We'll update while coming to levels. We'll update these values. So second point will be we'll initialize the pre data array of size height and at pre data of even level we'll give minimum value and at pre data of odd we'll give maximum value And then what we'll do? We will, so for finding height of binary tree, we will also make a function, height function. And using that function, we'll find the height of binary tree. So this is first step, this is second step. Now in third step, what we'll do? We'll check line by line the level. We'll check the level. If level is even suppose the level is even so for even level the value must be odd the value must be odd for even level so what we'll check we'll check for false condition see we are not checking for true condition we are ultimately at every step we are checking for false condition if any of this condition will receive false value, we'll simply return the false value from the whole function. Means for, for getting true answer that for becoming whole tree as even or tree, everything must return true. If any of the condition, any of the case become false, then the, con the R whole answer will become false. Means the tree is not an even or tree. So, we'll check for false conditions basically. So, if the level is even, what we'll check? The R value must be odd. So, we'll check for even condition, even value. If value of root, if root value is even, means we are checking for false condition. If level is even and if root value is even, so we'll return false. Okay, and the next condition will be, we'll also check that it is in strictly increasing order or not. So for that, what we'll check, we'll check for the false condition. That is, if this value, value stored is greater than, means this value is greater than this value. See, if value at pre-data, is greater than or equal to value at this means that root value if, if this is greater than or equal to root value then it will return false see uh, once again see this condition see uh, we will check at this con uh, this level for second level level is even okay value of root is even value of root is even no value is not even so we will check another condition that is pre data value must be greater than if pre data value is greater than or equal to root value so here root value is 3 if this minus infinity is greater than or equal to 3 then it will surely return false means this is not in strictly increasing order and then what we will do we will so this will not get trapped into this condition because our pre data value is less than pre data value is less than root value so we will not get trapped into this condition and then what we'll do we'll do we will make pre data value equal to root value means for the next call means when we'll again get trapped into this level then what will happen then for the next time, this value will become 3. Now, we will compare. When we will come at 7, we will compare 
this seven with three. Okay. We'll compare this seven with three. So three must be, if three is greater than equals to seven, means this is not in a strictly increasing order. If pre, now this time pre data value is containing three, if this three is greater than or equal to seven, means this is not following a strictly increasing order. So if three is greater than equals to seven, it means this is following a strictly increasing order. And we are checking for the false condition. If anyhow, we get the condition, suppose here it is 6. So what will happen for the next time it will become 7 and we'll check if 7 is greater than equals to 6. Then it will become true. And when as soon as this condition becomes true, it will return false. Because 7 is greater than equals to 6 and this will break the condition of strictly increasing. So this is what I am trying to explain over here. So, then again we will check, we will check the same thing for if level equals to odd. If level equals to odd, we will check the condition if root value is for odd level, the root value must be even and if it is also odd then return false basically we are checking for false condition and at last what we will do we will return whatever we will get from our left and right if I either of left and right is false then we will simply return false how we will call our function recursively that is check even odd and we will pass left increasing the level and we will put the and condition we will call check root dot right and we will increase level so whatever our this function will return this is left call and this is right call if either of this call becomes false then it will simply return false and as long as this is returning true, we will be making the recursive call again and again. Okay. So, let us code for this approach. Then we will be getting more clearly what we were doing over here. So, this is our function of is even or it, it is returning the bool type data its return type is of boolean it will return either true or false if it is e even or then it will return true otherwise it will return false so our first step is to find the height of the binary tree because we were creating the pre-data so in this c++ uh, in place of array we use vector so we will create a vector of pre-data of size height so for that we'll we need to first find the height of the tree so in this function we will be finding the height of the tree so base condition then return zero otherwise return maximum from what we receive from left call, left height, and what we receive from right height. So, height from right subtree. So, maximum of it plus 1. So, this will be our height. And we will store this height in ht variable. We will call the height function from here. Passing the root value. And now of height, of size height, we will be creating a vector predata. So, of integer type. A 
of size height so now we will be storing the minimum value if the level is even and maximum value if the level is odd so we will start the loop from i equals to 0 to less than height If I is even, that is, if I mod 2 equals to 0, then it is even and we will store minimum value because we have to find the strictly increasing order. else we'll be checking for strictly decreasing so for this maximum value after this we'll be calling the function check passing the root and the level initially level will be 0 and whatever this function will return either true or false we will return from this so now we'll, we will create this function check with level and our very first step will be if we will reach the end point that is if we would equals to null ptr then return true otherwise we will be checking the condition firstly for level if level is even then we will come inside this if condition see what we were doing firstly we have created the height function we have called the height we have created a pre data vector vector of size height and at even indexes we have stored the minimum value because we were to about check the strictly increasing in even order and at odd level we were to about find the strictly decreasing so initially it will be initialized with maximum value and then in next step we are checking the level if the level is even we are checking for false conditions means if in the level even the value is also even then it will return false and if it is not following a strictly increasing order it will return false if it doesn't come in any of these conditions then we will update this pre data value that is firstly it was minus infinity then 3 then 7 like in strictly in fourth point we are doing the reverse of this that is if level is odd we are finding that value is odd then return false and we are finding if the it is not following strictly decreasing then also return false otherwise we will update the value at pre data that is 12 then 8 and we will be checking this okay so now implement this thing we will check if value of root is also even then return false also if it is not following the strictly increasing order that is pre data at level index is greater than or equal to value at root value of root then it means it is not following the strictly increasing order then also return false otherwise update the value present at level index of pre data by value of root so
now same thing we will do for else part that means if level is odd for odd level if the value is also odd then return false and if it is not following the strictly increase decreasing order then return false otherwise update the value at free data vector okay and at last return the answer whatever we received from left increasing the level and we'll put the and condition whatever if either of this condition becomes false then the whole answer for checking the condition will become false that is the tree will not be a even not tree increasing the level so this will if either of this condition becomes false then the whole answer will become false so now again discuss all the points whatever we have done right now So basically, firstly we have created the height function. We have find the height of the binary tree. So using that height, we have created we have created a vector predata, and we have create created vector predata of size, height, and at even index we were about to find the strictly increasing order. So we have initialized the even indexes with minimum value and odd indexes with maximum value now we have called the function check and this will be returning the answer for our is even or so check function has taken the parameters as root and level so this is the base condition and if level is even if level is even and also the value values are even then it will return false and also we'll check in this condition if we are checking if it is not following the strictly or increasing order means value stored at pre data is greater than and equal to value we are comparing with present value then it will return false if both of these conditions are false then we will simply update our pre data it means that we are not trapped in any false condition means we are not trapped at any false statement so if the level is odd we are checking whether the if any value is odd then we'll return false and if it is not following the strictly decreasing order means the value stored at pre data level is less than or equal to present value then it will return false and then if it doesn't tra get trapped in any of this if conditions then we'll update the pre data value okay and whatever we will receive, receive from the left and right we will take its and if either of this condition is false we will simply return false means to get the even or three all conditions means all the points must be true okay so if we will run the code so it is the function in c++ is max so we will not use math dot max it will be max function compilation error is free data was not declared in this scope ok 33 line number okay so so invalid conversion from int reserve height so
que eso that is given some inputs so initially it is returning false see till now test cases are not given in this so it is returning any value so what we will do for now we will take custom input for the tree which we have discussed for now we have taken custom input for this tree for this tree we have taken custom input so we will run this code so it is accepted it is returning true it means for this input we have already discussed this thing that for this input the, our answer was true and same is shown over here for this input our answer is true it means for now our code is correct and uh, it, uh, right now back, uh, in back end side they are uploading the test cases so by the time you will reach at this question you will be getting the test case and you will be able to submit your code and also run it so i hope you have till now you have understood the question and the solution also so that's the end of our video we'll be meeting another video with another question so thank you for watching